Hey there, fellas. So what have we got going on here today? Well, some of you requested we try and see whether a Lada can haul a semi-truck together with its trailer. Now, these are usually quite heavy. They typically weigh in at about 20 tons. So yeah, we've finally gotten around to giving this a shot. We're curious to see the outcome ourselves. We tried pushing the truck, but that didn't really get us anywhere. Anyway, so we've got ourselves a lot over there, and a big rig, of course. We actually used it a while back for a bit of tug-of-war, where we were successfully able to hold it back, with a bit of help from our local American football team. So we won that battle, and now we get to see what this lot is made of. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we've tethered the car. Now we just attach the rope over here. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's give it a try then. You take it easy now. Semi-truck versus Lada. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Oh, wow! It was actually quite eager to pull the truck. Look at that. Now imagine if it had a locking diff. You're good. Now an LSD or a welded diff would have made the job a lot easier. Though it didn't do too bad even on an open diff. And they say that Lottas are worthless. In all the years we've been torturing them, they've always managed to persevere. They never cease to exceed our expectations. Killing one of these is never an easy task. They are very much up to auto industry standards. Things are looking good. Okay, so we've established that a Lada is able to lug around a semi-truck. But we also have a front-wheel drive contender. I'm referring to that Mazda. It does have well over 200 horsepower as opposed to 70, but we are talking front-wheel drive after all. Now I'd really like to see whether it can move this big rig. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, that actually went pretty well. It gets the job done. I sense a nasty smell. Is that the tires or the clutch? Oh, it's not the tires for sure. Yep, that's definitely the clutch. Overheating and disintegrating. Looks like you're going in for some repairs. Okay, so here's the situation. Despite the obvious wheel spin, given that a front-wheel drive car doesn't have as much grip as one with a rear-wheel drive, still though, it was able to give it a good pull, although it did make a lot of noise and generate a bit of smoke. While we were at it, another idea occurred to us. We might... Actually, we'll definitely try parking two big cars, applying the brakes, attaching them to that truck, and after that we attempt to tow them away. The question is, which has better grip? Those two big cars or the semi? Alright, let's see where this goes. Okay, we've got two solid cars here, which we've buckled down using some quality towing ropes. They both weigh quite a bit, and both of them are wearing some aggressive tires. The rubber on this one is a bit worn out, but it's still pretty wide. Given the weight of these cars, traction shouldn't be an issue. Right, now we see whether the big rig can drag away these two cars. Place your bets. I know I have. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. What just happened? We failed on our first attempt, but no worries. We looking good? Hit it! Stop, stop, stop! 
It ain't happening. What? Looks like someone's brakes are malfunctioning. I guess. I guess. It's normal for a 30-year-old car, sure. Okay, fellas, you just saw everything for yourselves. Two cars aren't nearly enough to hold that there truck at bay. But one is enough to give it a tug. People should really stop hating on Lottas. All right, fellas, this experiment seems to have been a success. Any idea who won? Let's call it nobody's victory. Anyway, this was a neat little experiment. And that's all I have for you. Watch our videos, subscribe, leave some comments and suggestions, give us a thumbs up. All right, catch you later.